FBR Designs develops and builds dynamically stabilized robots. These robots are designed to work outdoors and use the company's proprietary Core Dynamic Stabilization Technology Platform, or DST for short. The first application of DST is Hadrian X, a brick laying robot that builds structural walls faster, safer, and more accurately with less wastage than traditional manual methods. Hadrian X incorporates Wall as a Service, FBR's unique commercial offering, which gives clients access to the multiple benefits of robotic construction without having to build robotics capability into their operations. Joining me ahead of appearing at Australian Equities Day in Singapore is FBR Managing Director and CEO, Mike Pivak. Mike, welcome to the Stock Network. Thanks, Lola. Great to be here. Now, FBR's robotic bricklaying construction technology is based on its proprietary core dynamic stabilization technology within its next generation Hadrian X structural wall bricklaying robot. What are the highlights of what Hadrian has been up to recently? Well, I'll take you back just a little bit further than most recently because over the last two or three years in Western Australia, we, we've certainly uh, done a lot on the commercial front in terms of demonstrating and socialising the technology with our local builders. Uh, and, of course, we couldn't go far out of WA because, uh, you know, most of this stuff happened during the, uh, the COVID times. Um, but we didn't waste any time either. You know, we, we took an opportunity in, in 2020 to take the machine out for the very first time and, and demonstrate it building a, a real home for real people in the real world. Uh, not that we got a lot of traction from that because most people at the time were more concerned about the pandemic than the introduction of a, of a new construction robot. Um, but, you know, since that that moment in time, we've only really gone from strength to strength to strength. And we've demonstrated the machine's versatility and utility across a whole range of different types of things that we've built in WA from, you know, standalone residential homes uh, to daycare centres Reasonably small commercial centres, but the, the most significant uh, thing that we've done is a, a 16 unit development uh, in, in Willoughby uh, for Saddleys. And, you know, they're, they're two storey, uh, they're uh, side by side, they're 10.4 metres high, it's on a sloping site. And when we saw that as a, uh, as a job opportunity for the machine, or when we jumped at it because it demonstrates that if we can do that sort of work with this machine, there's really nothing that we cannot do. Uh, so we're very, very happy with what we've been able to do in, in terms of breaking down those initial commercialization barriers, but also demonstrating the utility machine. And from there, we've, we've sort of gone from strength to strength. Now, Hadrian X is has also, of course, moved to the US where it will be demonstrated by your US partner. Can you outline what you're focused on in the US um, more broadly with Hadrian and perhaps when we might start to see some significant revenues come through? Yeah, sure. So look, at the moment, we have a, a, a reasonably small team uh, in the US with, with one of our Hadrian machines there uh, in Fort Myers in Florida. Um, we're just doing some uh, sort of testing parameters with our potential go-to-market partners there in CRH. Uh, we've been ticking off a fair few boxes over the last couple of weeks. Uh, that will culminate uh, in us beginning a 10-house build program with, with three nominated builders there. Uh, that will potentially start in the coming week. So this is all very uh, you know, apparent and, and now for the, for the team and for the company. Uh, we'll also be uh, bringing as many people around the machine as we can. Uh, we're doing a demonstration day there in Florida in, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and then we go out and we validate the machine with the building community there in Florida uh, with the view that you know, sometime in the coming months uh, we will agree to uh, launch into our full-blown commercial program with CRH. Uh, and that will. there's a couple of things that uh, happen at that point in time that are very significant for the company. Um, for the most part, the credit facility that CRH will, will bring to the table as part of our JV program is, is key to unlocking the, the manufacturing growth uh, of the business. Now, we will receive a, a 20 machine purchase order uh, at the completion of the, the pilot program and providing, of course, that our go-to-market partners agree that you know it's, it's full steam ahead. And at 2 million US a unit, 20 of those, that's, you know, our first real significant uh, revenue milestone that we, we can see in front of us. And that 20 machine purchase order is, is a part of a potential 300 
machine purchase order that we will see over time coming in on at sort of stage gated over the next uh, next few years. But that's a billion Australian dollars worth of hardware, uh, which is significant on a number of different levels. Uh, firstly, from a from an Australian manufacturing perspective, you know we, we've got the attention of government now, which is great, and you know they obviously want to make sure that we uh, maintain uh, our home in in Australia in WA. Uh, they want to see us, you know, double or triple in size and and keep all that uh, sort of modern manufacturing capability here you know, in in Australia, which of course we would like to as well. Uh, but we'd also like to make our con contribution to the uh, Australian housing problem that we, we're all aware of and that we read about every day in the papers. And we don't have a, a plan locked in for the introduction of the machines in Australia yet. We're still discussing that with some potential go-to-market partners here in Australia. But, you know, over the next year or two, we will see uh, the company go from what was uh, an R&D outfit for quite a number of years uh, to a company that, you know, got its machines out in the field and built real things for real people and real builders. And now we will see an opportunity to grow into what is, we believe, uh, the most lucrative construction market in the world uh, and also a market that values technology uh, more than anywhere else in the world. So big opportunities for the company. Uh, a lot of hard work has happened since you and I spoke last. Um, you know, the, the team that we have is, is very unique and highly skilled. Uh, we're well positioned now to take advantage of the hard work that we've all done and the patience of our investor community as well. Uh, and that can't be understated because, you know, as a startup company, particularly through COVID, um, you know, they were difficult times. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to have the support of our investor community and, and our go-to-market partners and, and industry partners to help us keep in the game. You know, and that was that was really important, and you know, we're we're very thankful for for everyone's help along the way. Well, Mike, thank you so much for that update. It has been a very big journey to date, and it's a very big journey, I'm sure, ahead of you. But um, appreciate all the work you've done, and again, all the best ahead of appearing at Australian Equities Day in Singapore, where you'll be outlining more to Asian investors. Well, thank you very much, Will.